Ah, hi, friend. My name is Makai Miracle. I'm the co-creator of Accelerated Light Healing, and I am here today to share this week's Ascension update. I just jumped out of the shower and was inspired to <laughs> inspired to record this now. So, topic for this week's Ascension update is what's your goal for Ascension? <laughs> Have you ever asked yourself that? What's your goal? Why are you doing all this? Why are you doing all this healing work? Why are you studying spirituality or consciousness or listening to spiritual teachers? What's your desired end result? <sighs> and for most people, they start on, on the healing path, conscious path, because there's something that they need to change, whether it be some deep emotional pain that needs wants to be transformed, maybe it's something physical that's pushing them on that path. Usually some some sort of catalyst event. And then as that catalyst has kind of been taken care of, or actually on the on through that journey, then there's more knowledge that comes in, more knowledge, more wisdom, more experience. And as that first problem is taken care of enough to the point where you're able to comfortably live again, or mostly comfortably live again, You gained all this wisdom and knowledge, and you may be progressing on your ascension journey on con with an unconscious intention for your outcome. For many people, their outcome, desired outcome from ascending, is to not have to come back to the earth plane again. Not have to be reincarnated again and go through all the suffering again. Life and death. Go through this life to die and then have to do it all over again. I know that was my goal for a long time. <laughs> In uh, Sanskrit, it's called mukti or liberation. Also moksha, but mukti. Liberation from the cycle of death and rebirth. And that that can be appealing. It's like, hey, I don't like the suffering. I don't like the suffering and all the lessons I had to go through. Why would I want to do that again? Hey. But here's the thing: if that's your if that's your goal, if that's your target, you're doing it from a place of reactivity, reaction. Reaction is not an ascended state. Emotional charge is not an ascended state. It can't be. Neutrality is an ascended state. <laughs> And how do we get to the place of neutrality around the possibility of being reincarnated again and forgetting everything and doing life on the earth plane again? <laughs> how do we come to neutrality around that? Like, I'm like, hi, I don't want that. That's scary. <laughs> well, here's the thing. What if that wasn't even in your field of awareness? How do we get there, Micaiah? <laughs> what if your goal for ascension, your target for ascension was to be infinite love and infinite oneness with everything? God, infinite source, infinite consciousness is infinite love and infinite oneness. 
And what if you were so in love with all of it, all of everything, that you didn't even care if you had to come back here again? You're like, ah, I love, I love everything. Everything is so amazing. God's amazing. Infinite consciousness is amazing. I am in love with it all. I just want to keep doing whatever brings me into more and more love with, with everything, with oneness. What if that was your target? Because after all, you probably started this journey because you wanted to feel good. Well, what feels better than being in love? And what if you could be in love with everything? you start seeing everything as oneness, which includes you. And you start experiencing the love for everything. It doesn't matter what you love. You realize that you're loving yourself because you are infinite. So whatever screen you're watching this on right now, love it. You're loving yourself. The walls in the room that you're in right now, love them. You're just loving yourself. Everybody you see, love them. It's all love. It's all oneness. Mm. If you attended my free class earlier this week, I spoke a lot about that, about infinite love and oneness. That class was called How to Reach Ascension. You can find it on my Facebook page, which the link will be in the description of this video. Hmm. So we have entered eclipse season. <laughs> there was a partial solar eclipse on October 25th. We're in the year 2022, if you're watching this in the future. And then we are coming up on a lunar eclipse on November 7th slash 8th. <laughs> and that's going to be a blood moon lunar eclipse. And so... The solar eclipse, I'm not going to get too much into it because we just kind of passed through it. Um, if you felt like a little less energetic support in uh, not like it wasn't there, but it was just less. Maybe it was harder to do things over the last week. <laughs> things took a little bit more effort. Um, that can happen because when an eclipse happens uh, the electromagnetic field of the earth the energy field of the earth and our energy field um, they, they weaken a little bit because they're not receiving all that energy from the sun whether it's the solar eclipse or the lunar eclipse it's all energy from the sun <laughs> lunar eclipse is reflected energy of the sun and That allows for great healing and great transformation. So momentum just kind of slows down a little bit so you can make sure, hey, am I going the direction that I want to be going on in my life? And then emotional density can spin out of your energy field a lot easier because um, energy patterns aren't running at quite such a high intensity. Eclipses are awesome. <laughs> and now as we head towards lunar eclipse, the hmm, lunar eclipse is much more emotional in its effects. 
the, the lunar, the moon is it's the divine feminine, receptive energy and emotions. So as we go through the lunar eclipse, your emotional body may stir up some old things that just need to be released. And that's fine. Allow yourself to feel them and release them. They're coming into your awareness to be released. Whenever you release a trapped emotion, that energy goes back to infinite consciousness. It's recycled and it comes back to you <laughs> as, as strength, as, as power, as awareness. It also allows us to see new possibilities. All eclipses do that, but especially at the lunar eclipse, because, because it happens at night, when the moon darkens for that period of time, you're able to see new seeds of consciousness, or maybe not even new, but you're able to see seeds of consciousness and awareness that you weren't really able to earlier. Think about this. If you're in a dark room and there is like spotlights in the room, big, bright spotlights just illuminate the entire room. There's like 20 of them and it's so bright you can barely see. If there's a flashlight in the room too and that light is on, are you going to be able to discern the light of the flashlight while all those spotlights are on? Probably not, because the spotlights are so bright and so intense and overpowering. And it's not that the flashlight's light or energy isn't there. It's just, it's, you know, it's in the mix. But if you turned off all or most of the spotlights, you'd probably be able to see the light of the flashlight a bit easier. And so that's what that's what happens. The lunar eclipse is this like the normal light reflected from the sun goes a little bit dark for a little while. It allows you to see all the lights and the energies that maybe you weren't aware of before, consciously, consciously aware of. So that allows you to see new possibilities for the future. And then as the light comes back on, then we come back to the full moon of that eclipse and then it supercharges all those new possibilities. Just be aware of what you're manifesting during that time, supercharge it. Ah, <sighs> beautiful friends. Well, it is October 30th. And why is that day special? Because it's the birth of Accelerated Light Healing. It is our 10 year anniversary today. <sighs> Bond and Atara Or and I channeled Accelerated Light Healing 10 years ago. And our life has been it's beyond amazing ever since. It's, it's it's such a great gift to be able to share these tools with people all over the world and empower people to change their own lives and help out in any way that I can. <laughs> so thank you for being a part of that journey. Remnant of Sale. Uh, we're also just, it's also the grand opening of the new Makai Miracle Store, which has... 85 plus new classes in the store. And we're having a sale 
this week. 35% off all the videos in the store. So if you use coupon code LOVE10, all capital, L-O-V-E-1-0, on your checkout, you're going to get 35% off uh, any and all the classes in there. Uh, the website is store.makaimiracle.com. I'll put the link in the description. And that coupon will be good for about a week. Ha! Ha! Ah, yay! Thank you so much for being here and playing with me today. I love sharing this information. I love sharing these energies with you. I look forward to playing with you again soon.